Tom Cruise really knew to hold out on, on this because he wanted to make sure that the technology was developed so that we could go up in actual jets and, the, and that we could fit six you know, 8K cameras stripped down in the cockpit of an F-18 so we could give audiences the idea of what it actually feels like to pull these Gs, sorry, <laughs> to pull these Gs and, and to do what real Top Gun pilots do, I mean to, to attempt to convey that, you know. I think that what's at the heart of Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick is what it means to be a good friend, you know, what it means to, to be a good wingman. And, and you know, I, I was just saying that, that you know, my, my grandpa was saying, what's one thing that you regret before he passed? I was like, what's one thing that you regret? And he said, I wish I was a better friend. Him, to me, in my eyes, he was one of the best friends I watched him be an incredible friend. But that's something that he held on to a lot. And I think that Top Gun really encapsulates that. It's like, you know, the challenge of being a good friend, supporting, uplifting, pushing, and, and keeping somebody, you know, straight when, when they may be, you know, wavering. I've never worked with anyone like Tom. He, he really, when you start to work with him, you realize that he holds everyone to a real high standard because he, he not only expects it, but he knows that you're capable of that. And when Tom Cruise says, you, you can do this, because, you know, I walked into this and I was like, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can really do this. This is, a, this is a huge challenge. But when Tom Cruise looks at you and he shakes you in the hand and he really is like, you can do this. I know that you can do this. And he set us up for success. I, I, was, I was capable of things that I, I never would have dreamed of.